Welcome back. Coronavirus, not the only worry in Florida this morning. Officials there have issued a statewide warning confirming a case of a very rare and deadly brain-eating amoeba. The tiny amoeba, typically found in warm, fresh water like lakes, rivers, and ponds. Joining us right now is family medicine doctor Jen Cottle. Dr. Cottle, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. So what should we be Thank aware you. of? Yeah, so well, first thing to, to know is that this is an amoeba, this is not a virus, it's not a bacteria, and you're right, it's found in warm freshwater lakes, rivers, as you mentioned. It can also be found in swimming pools that are not properly maintained, even hot springs. Uh, but the thing that you mentioned uh, is it is sort of a brain-eating amoeba, which means it causes a condition called uh, primary, amoeba, uh, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, which is a brain infection. That's right, it gets in through the nose, into the body, travels to the brain, and it actually destroys brain. So that's one of the the really sort of tragic things about this. Um, Maria, before we go on, I, I do want to give people some good news. Um, even though this is a very deadly condition, over 97% fatality rate, it is very rare. And that's a really good thing to know. So you said that it goes into the nose. How do people get infected? Right. Is this just a sneeze or a cough? And, and is there a cure? That's a great question. So um, you can't get this by drinking contaminated water or anything like that. You, you can't get this from, say, oceans, because, again, it's fresh water. It's typically acquired from swimming or diving in warm bodies of fresh water. So what happens is sort of that force of going into the water. Um, when the water goes into the nose, that's what allows that amoeba to travel into the brain. Um, the ways that we want you to prevent it are, of course, you can you know, avoiding warm bodies of fresh water, right? Swimming or doing activities in lakes and rivers, et cetera, things like that. Uh, but also... Um, um, other ways of pre uh, prevention would include holding your nose, you know, trying to or using nose clips, things like that. Of course, nothing is necessarily a hundred percent. This amoeba is found in lots of bodies of water. Um, once again, the good thing is it is very rare. The CDC says there have only been 145 reported cases between 1962 and 2018. But on the flip side, as I mentioned before, there's over a 97 percent mortality rate of those 145. Only four have survived. So the treatment is pretty complicated. Uh, the treatments are not the best, um, and I still think they're kind of a work in progress. I think the most important thing for people to know is if they have symptoms of nausea, vomiting, you know, headache, high fever, um, you know, uh, seizures, mental status changes, they feel dizzy, confused, symptoms that are not right uh, after swimming or honestly at any other time, you need to see your doctor promptly. You, you said that this also could happen in pools that are not maintained. So what does that mean for chlorine uh, in, in yeah. pools? It's summertime. It's also tick season. Experts are also fearing an unusually bad season amid the coronavirus. So talk to us about what we're dealing with in terms of the summertime, chlorine in the pools and tick season. Yeah, so I, the most important thing for those of you who have pools or when you're going to a local pool or things like that, it's important for that pool to be properly maintained, which means making sure it's properly cleaned, disinfected, chlorinated, and things like that. If a pool is properly maintained, we, we, we have very little concern, okay? It's when those pools are not properly maintained that we certainly get concerned for things like this amoeba and other things. Tick disease, um, uh, Lyme disease, rather, uh, avoid ticks, uh, make sure that you're wearing bug spray. Um, you know, all of those prevention methods are really, really important for the summertime. All right, Dr. Jen Cottle, great to get your insights this morning. Thanks so much. We will see you soon, Jen. Thank, Thank you. you.